In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a sample beat uh, using an iPad 3 and an app called Beatmaker 2. I'm going to show you the steps and the capabilities that this app has and uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. This is the welcome screen of the Beatmaker 2. We can uh, go to our last autosave project or we can load a project or we can create a new project. I'm going to click new project. So here uh, the Beatmaker uh, lets us uh, know that we can use a drum machine, a keyboard sample or an audio track on which we can record even vocals with the microphone input of uh, the iPad. So I'm going to use drum machine. In the load preset screen we can choose from different drums, different samples. So I'm going to choose hip hop and choose one of the presets that are available for me. The drums are loaded in. This is the main screen of the Beatmaker 2. Here we have the tracks screen. Here are all the tracks that we are going to record, instruments and uh, audio tracks. We can add a track by pushing this. Um, we can uh, draw MIDI notes uh, with this tool. We can split tracks with this tool, import and export and navigate for navigation, zooming of the tracks. Here we have the transport bar. Um, it's a normal transport bar. Here is the metronome setting on and off, the loop. Here are the record settings. We can uh, quantize, swing or um, pre-roll uh, into the recording process. We have note repeat, note overdub and note erase. In the song tab we have the signature, the loop start, the loop duration and the BPMs. I am setting my BPMs to 28720 and if we push the home button we go back to the first screen on this button we have the sliders the pots uh, the mixer controls we have two tracks for now and the third icon is the sample lab we can record a sample via microphone from the iPad open a sample or import from our iPod library which I downloaded from my iTunes library in my Mac and just choose songs and find my sample. We are going to use the drums from the Beatmaker 2 and the sample from other two tutorial videos. We click on import song and save. Now the sample is being imported into the Beatmaker's library. We have different tools here. Here's the transport bar and the uh, record settings and the song settings as before. If we want to chop the sample, we just click on this icon, which has to say chop markers. With navigation, we go to the first part of the song, the beginning of the song. We click to markers and we simply tap on the screen. And there is a way to listen to the sample. You just press play. This is how we chop our sample using the navigate, the markers and the play button.
so this is it. I have chopped my sample. I just double click on the markers tab and the program shows me the whole sample and all the chops that I have done. So when we want to save uh, these chops, we have to go to this green icon and save as. We want to save it as I format because the chop markers can only be saved in that format. So we click this and save, we name it, and then we go to the same we go to the same green tab and then we go to the same green tab just setting the signature and when we have when we have saved it to an A file we go to the green tab and select export chop preset and create pattern from slices and create preset we save it and we have it ready for use in our sound banks we go back with uh, with the home pad we go back with the home tab and click on instrument we are going to add a new instrument, a new drum machine, and we are going to use our preset that we just saved on this instrument. We have the instrument loaded, so we click on the drum machine, and this is our MPC style triggering uh, samples display. So uh, we have here the sample which is uh, overlapping as you can hear okay so we have the sample set on our pads but as you can see it's overlapping so we are going to fix that we just go to this going right and activating X groups the X group means that if I play this sample and I put it in X group 1 and I and then I play this sample they're overlapping each other but I if I put the second pad in the X group 1 they're cancelling each other out this totally depends of on the totally depends on the style of your sampling uh, how you want to create something but this is my uh, technique and that is how I do it in this tab we can uh, put the volume up or down for a certain sample or the machine, the instrument we are playing with the pan and the mute button is here also on this tab we can set the tune for the 16 pads and this is all we need for hip hop instrumental creation with sampling we go to the home tab and select our first instrument the drums and then we go to the home tab again and set our loop area we will go to the first tab and extend our loop area to four bars and then go to our instrument we don't like these drums so we can pick up another one So we can start recording drums. We go to loop mode and just press the record button. We just press record. We can listen to the whole thing looped. We are going to add some kicks and snares.
and we can also set the volume for every pad by itself just clicking on the pad we want to attenuate the volume of and if I have let's say hi-hats I can pan them left or right now we can record the drums and if we don't like something we played we can just go into the note view of the instrument and just select the notes we don't like and just delete them it's very easy to use it's like logic but with a touch screen interface so we go back to the Okay, so we have the drums. Let's put a and we listen to the these are our drums. So we go to the second instrument and that is our sample and if you want to mix our sample and our drums we just go to the home tab and press the mixer button and here we have the drums if we uh, add uh, like six or seven instruments and create the uh, kick and snare and hi-hat separately we're gonna have more tracks here and we can set the drums separately but this is how uh, it works too here we have the sample so we lower the sample a little bit and go back and play it we can record a sample And the good thing about um, the Beatmaker 2 is that you can add you can add a keyboard sampler and uh, there are presets so we can take the preset and try it out. You have a keyboard. You have the settings for the instrument. And the multi-touch feature allows it to play four keys at once. So let's play something. can add another instrument and now you can see that there are 
more instruments on the mixer, we can mix them and pan them. We can do almost everything with the Beatmaker 2. Anything that we need for creating some a concept or something. And that is it. Uh, this is how we sample with an iPad. Uh, you can see it's for $500 or 500 euros. You can have the whole beat making uh, production center in uh, one tablet. Or you can go the MPC way or the Logic way. I think that uh, all of them are ready to create music. It's all in your mind and in your hands. And um, just go to work and start from the basics and that's it.